Hey guys, it's Tyler and welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dungeons Mobs mod. This mod was requested via the comments by one of my viewers. Uh, so if you do want to see another mod review like this in the future, just uh, comment down below the mod that you'd like to see me review. Anyway, this mod adds in 39 brand new mobs to fight. I believe all of which are from the Minecraft Dungeons video game. Um, but yeah, um, this mod adds a huge amount of content, as you can see most of these chests are full, and it changes a bunch of the common mobs like um, Zombie Piglin and uh, uh, Wither Skeletons as well. They, have, uh, they can now carry bows and things like that. So let's start off with the Undead mobs. They have, there's actually quite a few brand new uh, that have been added. I'll fight each of these, uh, my bad. Um, they are some of them are quite tough, and um, they all seem to spawn at night. Um, and some of are like the illagers are specific to raids um, in specific biomes too. But I'll get into that in a little bit. So first up is the armored zombie. Actually, I'll fight all of these at night. Here we go. So the armored zombie spawns with iron gear. I don't believe he can spawn with anything better than that, but I've also uh, seen him spawn with an axe. He does do about one and a half hearts of damage. I should have showed that off. And um, I am wearing full diamond armor using a diamond axe as the illagers are actually really powerful. I believe the frozen zombie just spawns in the snowy biomes. I got a mini one here, but whenever he does hit you, he inflicts you with slowness. I believe it's slowness one for about eight seconds. Uh, most of the early these early mobs here aren't too tough, but they're certainly cool just to see um, going around instead of just the normal zombie. Or uh, there are some new variants of skeletons and creepers as well. Next up is the jungle zombie. He can of course be found in the jungle, and he actually inflicts poison one for. Oh, I believe, oh, eight seconds. As you can see, it is actually quite powerful, um, especially with some of the other dungeon mobs, um, jungle mobs that they have. Um, next up is the armored skeleton. Uh, he just spawns with a helmet. His bow doesn't do any more damage than normal, but he can't burn in the day anymore. Uh, and he also, they all have extra health, by the way. I believe um, half. 1.5 times the amount of health for armored creatures. We also have uh, uh, the jungle skeleton. Uh, he inflicts poison one. Uh, quite annoying. Um, but he can also drop some rare uh, arrows of poison, so you don't need to craft them by gathering a bunch of um, lingering potions and dragon beth and going through that whole um, process. Next up is the necromancer. He is really cool. He summons in a bunch of um, mobs. I'm not sure where to find him. I believe he does spawn naturally. Um, wow. Yeah, uh, as you can see, some of them are really tough, even with just normal diamond armor. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I'll try fighting the Necromancer again. Uh, in my test, they weren't that powerful. I guess since I am doing it in hard mode, they get a significant boost to their damage. Um, I've actually upgraded my armor to prot 2, and I've given myself a bow with power to an infinity. So let's try fighting the Necromancer. It seems to summon two armored skeletons, a wraith, which I'll show off in just a minute, and a couple zombies. The wraith, oh god, they do so much damage. Oh god. The Wraith is very irritating. And hopefully I don't die here. Again. There we go. Uh, every time you hit the Wraith, by the way, um, he uh, summons... Okay, he summons a lot back to back. Uh, I would definitely actually recommend better armor before facing him or just bowing him off in the distance. Uh, I'm not sure where he's gone this time, but it seems every time you kill at least one or some of them, um, some of the months, 
mobs uh, he spawns a brand new set. I'm not sure if he died via skeletons or something else, but he does seem to be dead or he's teleported off somewhere. Okay. Um, next up is the Wraith, the Skeleton Vanguard, and the Skeleton Horseman. These aren't particularly they're, they're no different to the other ones we've seen. Uh, sh show off the Wraith quickly. Every time you do hit him, or every periodically, every now and then, he'll teleport away. If he does, and he summons this blue fire, it does disappear after a while, and it doesn't seem to do any more damage than usual. Um, so you do get set on fire for a long time, I'm a little bit sure if it's um, specific to uh, this mod or I just don't know the times for fire. He does drop a wraith charge, a wraith fireball or something? Wraith fire charge. It's exactly the same as the fire charge, it just sets fire on the ground. Um, you can see it just got put out by itself. Uh, here's just a zombie. They do do, I believe, one and a half parts there. Um, so that's actually it for the undead mobs, though there are quite a few remaining. Up next are... oh. Sorry, my bad. I thought I used these. Okay, here's an armoured drown. I'll show these off in a little while. There's lots of armoured versions of the mobs. The skeleton horseman. Um, it's just the normal skeleton horse, but you get the uh, armoured version on top. And it, believe, uh, it seems that you can get, um, what do you call it, uh, enchanted versions of the skeletons. I'm not sure why he's not taking damage from that. There we go. Um, and the last skeleton is the skeleton vanguard. Um, I believe he is a little rarer. He's got a shield. He does block until you hit, and he seems to do about two and a half to uh, two to one and a half parts. Uh, you can just kite him though, um, and they all do seem to drop some of their gear. And I know that there's some helmets later on that you can get from uh, finishing off. Uh, specific mobs, but it's just as good as I and all of the gear. Up next, all of the Vindicators, uh, Illagers, sorry. Um, they do seem to spawn naturally in the mod. The wiki does say that they spawn naturally inside of a Woodlands mansion. Uh, when looking, when looking uh, at all of these, I didn't see any specific um, new types. Oh, there's actually one. There's the Armored Illager, uh, Vindicator. And see, he does four and a half hearts, and he has extra health. Um, I definitely do uh, does a lot more damage than normal. This is just an arm another armored illager, but not okay. They don't take knockback. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That was quite close. Um, but yeah, there are a bunch of new illagers. Um, I won't stay in here too long. It doesn't seem that there's any new rooms in this either. Um, so let's get back to the showcase. There we are. So up first is the armored vindicator. You just saw that. And there is also a vindicator chef now. So this is the guy, before he does three and a half hearts, and this is with prop two diamond armor, so definitely wear some good gear when fighting the woodland uh, mansions now. And uh, these guys do spawn in uh, raids as well, some of them are actually specific to raids um, in specific biomes. Um, next up is the Vindicator Chef, there we are. Uh, I believe you can get his spatula and that, but he... Still does about a heart to a heart, uh, half a heart. Doesn't have a lot of health though. I didn't get the drops, but they're not very good. But they're still cool nonetheless. Um, oh, Royal Guard. Uh, he's quite tough. I need to heal up for this. So he has an arm and axe. He won't do anything, but I believe he can card him. Okay. 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 
Yep, they do attack quite quickly, and they're quite deadly. Oh, okay. Don't kill me again. Yeah, um, I'm really not sure what to do against these guys unless you're wearing full prop 4 armor. Um, but he can drop his shield. Uh, let's put this back on. Wow, they chunk through your armor very quickly too. There we are. Um, he does drop the shield. I believe it's just as good as a normal shield, but I'll show that off at the end. Um, next up, let's chuck this garbage there, um, is the Armored Pillager, the Geomancer, Isolager, and the wind caller, and also all of these mods, um, the mod creators customized it so that you can have them spawn in modded biomes or um, uh, have it spawn in specific biomes as well as in specific raids. Because the isolager and wind caller actually only spawn in specific biomes. Um, the isolager only spawns in um, I. The snowy biome raids. I'll just kill this. There we are. Uh, so we'll show off the armored pillager. Uh, he looks quite cool. Um, he can spawn at the pillager outpost as well. Um, and they all do take significantly less damage and have enchanted weapons. They can't do any damage to me. He looks very cool nonetheless though. Up next is the geomancer. These have some special abilities. They summon stone walls. Some of the later creatures also do. They do block you in and disappear after a short time. Not sure what this. Maybe that's meant to attack you. Okay, it explodes. I did not know that. Um, yeah, they are quite deadly, especially in a raid. Um, and it's cool, nonetheless, that they've just added a bunch of these, a uh, bunch of the new creatures in the raids to make uh, them more exciting. Okay, next up is the Ice Ologer. Um, he summons that. I believe it slams on top of you. Yep, and gives you slowness 5 for a couple seconds. So you're dead if you're not close. And it seems to follow you. Maybe I can outrun it. Yeah, I can. So if you just outrun it, you can survive or get away from it. And, okay, you can't seem to cancel, cancel it. And it will still follow me. Okay. Uh, next up is the Wind Caller, and you can get some specific stars from these guys, but they're quite rare. Is the Wind Caller? He actually gives you lev um, levitation, and he can infect himself with it as well. But this does two hearts. Um, he's pretty easy, but very quick. Uh, you didn't seem to drop it that time. Yeah, you can see it goes quite high into the air. That would be a death drop. Next up is the Mountaineer, the Armored Mountaineer, and the Illusioner. The Illusioner is actually really tough, though. I was checking him out earlier. Um, he's actually one of the cut mobs from normal Minecraft. Um, okay, here's the Mountaineer. He spawns in icy biomes and he does attack quite quickly. Uh, not super tough, but if you're wearing iron, he can kill you, off, kill you very quickly. Okay, well, I'm still good enough. Actually, need to heal again. Um, so up next is the Armored Mountaineer. It doesn't do anything different. Um, it does do a lot more damage, though. And I don't believe they take knockback very much, if at all, uh, for most of these um, illages. Up next is the Illusioner. I actually need to heal to full before I... Um, even attempt because he does summon a bunch of clones and makes himself invis uh, invisible. There we are. There we are. Okay. And some of them have rocket. Um, damn, this blindness is actually pretty bad. He makes himself invisible. That's him. Um, and he's the person that fires the rocket. Actually got him. I got lucky. Um... I guess when you kill him, his clones go away, but he's completely invisible while the others are there, and he can teleport as well, I, th I believe. Alright, that's done for the Illagers. Now the Jungle Awakens mobs. The mod creator also said that 
Um, he plans, if any more DLC comes out for Minecraft Dungeons, he will update this mod to add all of those creatures. Uh, we have, for the Jungle Awakens mobs, we have the Leap the leap Leaf, the Poison Armone, uh, the Whisperer, the Whisperer, I seem to have added it twice, my bad. Um, the Poison Quill Vine and the Quick Growing Vine. Uh, some of these are actually mostly just spawned by the Whisperer itself. Uh, but I'll check out the Lip Leaf first. He is quite large and he does a lot of damage. I won't try getting close to him because I noticed he has... Okay, geez. Um, he moves very quickly and he has a huge hitbox around him. Um, uh, I believe I'm not sure where he spawns. Uh, probably, okay. Uh, probably in the um, jungle. Or well, since this mod is 1.16.5, um, uh, I assume maybe they'll add this to the drip leaf biome. But for right now, I'm not sure where it spawns, um, as the mod, the wiki for this mod hasn't been updated in a year and a half now. Okay, so we'll spawn the whisperer next. So he's quite quick, uh, and he spawns walls like normal. This is just a quick growing vine, which I'll show off in a bit. They do disappear, and you just get some vines if you kill those. Uh, he does attack quite quickly, and he is very annoying. Um, there we are. Dies, drops some vines. These The drops for this mod aren't the best. You can just get normal drops that you would expect um, to fit in with the base game. Up next, oh, okay, we finished the Whisperer. We'll go the quick growing vine. This is just something that he summons. Uh, show his drops. Leave the hitbox is a little wonky for this though. I didn't drop anything that time, but it just drop. It will just drop some uh, vines. And this is actually another thing that he didn't summon before, but um, didn't summon when I was fighting him, but you can summon this plant. Uh, it shoots poison arrows at you very quickly, and it does follow you. And I don't believe this one disappears after a short amount of time, so you will have to finish it off. Last up is the poison archimone. Oh, I forgot to remove that spawn egg as well. This was a little hard to set up for this mod. Uh, it's actually a uh, version for the drowned mobs, which I'll show off in a little bit. That's actually it for the Jungle Awakens right now. Uh, next up are the Nether mobs. And they've actually changed uh, piglins, uh, zombified piglins, to have um, crossbows now they spawn in with, which is actually really cool. And uh, with the skeletons spawn in Soul Sand Valleys with um, out of a Nether fortress with uh, bows and normal swords as well. So we'll have the zombified armored piglin um, he looks just like a brute I don't believe he's aggressive um, but he spawns naturally um, and he does a lot of damage just like every other mob two and a half hearts um, he spawns in normal piglin packs I believe now here is the zombified piglin uh, fungus thrower um, I believe I have to punch him to get him off there we are, and he seems to destroy po uh, poison at you. Uh, I'm not sure if he spawns naturally in every biome or just like the warped fungus or crimson forest biomes, but uh, very annoying nonetheless. Next up is the armored piglin. Poison is very annoying and it lasts, I believe, eight seconds. Um, there we are. Um, I believe you can. Okay, these are very deadly. Sorry? Oh, he turned into the... Okay, I forgot. Um, he turned into the um, overworld variant because he was in here too long. That's my bad. Um, here's the fungus thrower. He does the exact same, but he's just innate, innately aggressive. He, he doesn't drop anything, I believe, right now other than some gold. That's actually it for the nether mobs right now. Uh, next up are the drowned mobs. I'll just chuck a bunch of this garbage in here. So we have the drowned necromancer. I'll, I'll just show off these in a moment. There we are. 
So first up, we have the Drowned Necromancer. These can spawn in rivers and oceans, as well as the ruined cities. Uh, these are quite deadly, just like the other Necromancers. The... I guess he has to be aggroed. Um, he spawns those with tridents. I'm not sure if you can get the trident. Oh, you can get the tridents from him. I didn't actually... This isn't in the... Okay, this is actually pretty interesting. That's lucky. Um, I didn't actually see that when looking through the... Uh, sorry, I'm blanking on the word. The creative menu. I guess you can get uh, purple versions as well as other coloured variants of tridents now. They just do the normal amount of damage and you can enchant these like normal. I believe, yes you can. Just with the normal impaling, channeling and things like that. Next up is the Sunken Armoured Skeleton. So there's now skeleton versions of um, drowned creatures. I'm not sure why these aren't attacking. Maybe uh, I'll spawn the rest in water, that's probably the reason why. Doesn't this flick you with anything, any um, status effects or anything like that. So we'll fight the Wave Whisperer next. He's just like the Jungle Whisperer. Um, he just spawns versions of the quick growing vines. It's very similar. On land he attacks you quite quickly and he moves quite quickly as well. I'm not sure sure why he's not attacking me. There we are. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's very cool nonetheless. It just makes the oceans and rivers feel more alive. And we have the Armored Drown. You probably saw this when I was fighting the Necromancer. Uh, Oh, there we are. Yeah, it seems the drowned mobs aren't fully implemented, or, or I'm just getting unlucky with their AI right now. Um, because they don't seem to want to work very correctly. Oh, there we are. Uh, so here's just some of the stuff that the Wave Whisperer would have spawned. Just the walls again, and then the poison archmoan, which you saw before. Um, yeah. Just poisons you with arrows like the rest. There we are. I'm just going to leave that, I won't bother. Okay. So we're almost done. Uh, we've got golems. So they have, I believe some of these, oh, sorry, I've missed one of the skeletons, the sunken skeleton. Um, this does the exact same. If I punch him, yeah, just does everything. He's just a different version of the other skeleton. So they have added these golems. I didn't test all of the raids, but I believe some of these can spawn in a normal raid. Um, but it, it's you can if they don't, you can change it in the config. Um, here is the I completely forgot his name, the Squall Goblin Golem. And he is very powerful, do not get close to him. Okay, I thought I set myself to creative, there we are. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. We're back. So, uh, this is the Squall Goblin, uh, Golem, I'm not sure why I keep calling it Goblin. He attacks from a very far range, uh, you probably just need to have a bow to finish him off. But he has 40 HP, and... I, I can't see any way of attacking him up close because he attacks so often and there's no way you can hit uh, hit him from anywhere close. But you do definitely need good armor for this. Uh, he just drops some iron and gold. So if you did want to use this in a normal survival world, that's a great way to farm it now for, if you're using raid farms or anything like that. Next up is the redstone golem. He's actually way tougher um, and far larger. So, I'm not sure how... Whoa! Okay, he is... Jesus, he is tough. Um, I was not expecting to get one shot. Uh, I didn't have time to... Uh, what do you call it? Test all of these mobs. Um, yeah, uh, unless you've got protection for uh, diamond armor, just stick to a bow. Um, I'll actually show it off just before I kill him. He has 100 health, so yeah, you're going to need something really good to take him on, or just take him out of the raid um, 
things, yeah, just take him out of raids. And he moves quite quickly and takes zero knockback. I'll just finish him off in creative because it's taking quite well, oh, quite a while. And he has damage reduction as well. He just drops some cobblestone and redstone. Um, nothing too great, but it would be cool nonetheless to fight him in a uh, raid. So next up is the icy creeper. I'll just spawn it over here. Um, he just spawns in the ice biome. And he inflicts slowness on you for 30 seconds, which is annoying, but it's just slowness one. And then we have a couple of slimes. So we have the conjured slime. These can come in any different size. Okay, I think he fires. Yeah, he shoots, shoots, um, uh, what do you call it, slime balls at you from a distance. Uh, they just don't seem to do, any, do anything right now. I'm just punch him to death. There we are, and lastly is the redstone cube. Um, I'm not sure where you would find this guy, but he actually does quite a bit of damage if he just crawls into you a bunch. There you go, just kill him and get some redstone. That's actually it for the mobs, uh, but we have helmets now. So some of those zombified piglins um, do have... Uh, are wearing some of these uh, helmets. They're just as good as iron because um, it does two hearts while well, diamond gives you three. Um, two, sorry, two armor bars. So, sorry, I, I'm misspeaking. One armor bar, which is two um, armor. Um, you get the cracked version. I don't think, I think they just have normal gold uh, durability and you can actually get netherite versions but it is definitely not as good as the normal netherite and you can get um, gold and diamond versions of the pig uh, the pillagers as well as the vindicators um, you can get a skeleton vanguard helmet and a chef heart which is just as good as a normal leather cap but um, it does look quite cool when you wear it yeah um, and lastly is the weapons. So the Mountaineer, which I showed off earlier, he can spawn with any of these. Oh, there we go. Um, just a Mountaineer axe, gold version and a uh, normal version. I believe it is just a normal axe. Nope, it's... I'm not sure what this is used for. Um, oh, you can use it for mining. Um, and this gold one's probably quite ter terrible in terms of durability. No, it's actually just the same. Um, and diamond version has a lot. Um, and seems to be just as good as a normal diamond pick. And yeah, uh, the mountaineer, the gold and mountaineer ones are just as good as iron, it seems. Um, next up, we have the yellow trident. Uh, in the, once again, in the creative menu it actually only showed the yellow trident but it seems you can get a bunch of different colors now um, hmm, that's actually basically it for that uh, and you can get these necromancer staffs and the wind caller staffs um, I can levitate you and I believe this one can summon stuff for you or turn it turns something into your friend I actually found this uh, little Okay, it's just a ranged weapon, which does... Wow, it does about five hearts. Let's see how much it does. Yeah, five hearts of damage, or ten damage per a, per thing. It's just on a very short cooldown, so it doesn't have a great amount of durability. But if you can rack up a bunch, it's good. I actually found this little dungeon spawn, um, and it's got an enchanted golden apple right in here. Um, I've carried that milk because I was just going to show you off a raid at the end. Uh, just to show you how some of them do spawn. Um, last up are some of the miscellaneous. We've You can get the Royal Guard Shield and the Normal Skeleton Shield, which both look really sick. There you go. Um, I believe it's just got the same hitbox as a normal... Um, take one of these off uh, as a normal shield as well but it's very cool nonetheless just to have these in the game 
And the last item is the spatula, once again dropped by the uh, chef vindicator. Um, it, it's just terrible, 1.5 damage. Um, but it's just cool to have a bunch of this, makes the game feel a lot more alive. Um, so I will give myself... Oh, let's There we are, um, there we go, and I will just spawn a villager just to show you off. There we go, once when the raid starts, I'll show you off that some of them do spawn in the normal waves. I'll probably spawn up there. Here we go. Oh, there we go. You can see some of the new pillagers, and you in later rounds you will get the redstone golems if you turn them on, and uh, the other type of golem. I forgot the name already. Uh, but yeah, uh, very cool. Makes raids a lot more fun now, um, but significantly more tough. Okay, that's the end of that. I'll just go into the Nether and show you off some of the normal weather skeletons spawning now. Yep, they spawn with bows. They don't actually, I tested it, they don't afflict. Okay, I guess my tests were wrong. Um, I was testing before, they didn't seem to give you wither when they shot you. But it's very cool to have these nonetheless, and we may be able to, s might be able to see, oh, another fortress spawned right here. Um, some of the new piglins that spawn, or zombified piglins with, it's a fungus thrower. Um, you might see zombified piglin somewhere if they're going to spawn at all with the, here we are, with some of the new crossbows. Yeah, so it's just cool to have this, it adds a bunch more diversity to the game. Yeah, it's just really cool nonetheless, they've done a, the mod creator's done a great job on this mod. Uh, I'll leave the link to, to it in the description. Anyway, that's basically it for this mod. I hope you guys enjoyed, and leave a comment down below if there are any other mods you'd like to see me review. Anyway, have a good day. Goodbye.